Good evening, European Confessions. I am back with another episode. There is a message that I want to share with you guys, and I received this message a couple of days ago. Then I had to ask one of our admins to give us a translation, and this is a translation of that message. The translation reads like this. How are you, Brother Nashi? I have my own story to tell. The spirit of a dead man who was killed by one of my uncles has destroyed our family. This is a vengeful spirit. After his death, his spirit rose up and it has risen against my family. We are so desperate and we don't know what to do anymore because wherever we go, this demon will always catch up with us. We are dying in our family. People are just dying left, right and center. When I look at my family and when I look at the whole extended family, the whole lineage has been destroyed. In our family, there is no one who lives to be old. We are just dying. People are just dying when they are still young in our family. When we saw that there is a lot of deaths that are happening in the family, we started looking for help, but we were going to this white garment prophet. This was after the death of our sister, whom we just buried a few days ago. What happened to my sister is that they told us that when they looked at her corpse, they saw that her skin looked like she had been burned by plastic fire. You know, when you burn yourself with plastic, that is what my late sister's skin looked like. Brother Nashi, my sister died, but she was found after three days lying dead in her room. But what bothered everyone was that her door was locked from the inside and my brother, her window were also locked with a wire from the inside, and it was really difficult to get inside. What bothered us is that who locked her inside and who locked her windows from the inside with a wire, the whole scene really looked suspicious because the police who were investigating this case, they said that this seemed like a case of suicide. Maybe my sister had committed suicide because the way that the door was locked from the inside and the windows were also locked from the inside tied with a wire and there was no forced entry into her room. The police then came to a conclusion that my sister's death, it was a result of a suicide. The way that my sister's body was found, it was after her neighbors noticed that there was a smell, something smelled inside her room, and they had not seen my sister for days. Then they spoke with the landlord. Then they broke her door down, and when they entered, into her room, they saw a horrible scene. Our sister was burned with plastic fire on her face. The landlord then called us so that we can come to collect her clothes and we can clean up the place. And we did everything until we buried our sister. That is when we started going to these white garment prophets to find out what was going on and what is it that was killing people in our family. Because everyone that dies in our family, they just die a very painful death. There is no one in our family that can ever have a peaceful death. Whenever people die in our family, they will be screaming like there is someone who will be burning them. In our family, no one has ever died of a natural disease, but all of them, the way that they die, it's either they are killed after having a normal argument, then the person will end up killing one of my relatives. It doesn't matter if one of my relatives is punched in the face or a weapon is or a weapon is used, but as long as they are involved in a fight, one of my relatives will always die. It's then some of my relatives, they are involved in fatal car accidents. In most cases, the cars that they will be traveling in, the car will just burst into flames. 
and if any of my relatives will be inside that car, they will be banned beyond recognition. This thing that has been happening in our family, my late father and his brothers and my father's sisters, they never wanted to discuss about this issue. And all of them, they died. When we saw that everyone was dying in our family, that is when we decided that we had to go and visit a prophet. We were told that our grandfather, who was very poor, he went to Malawi because he wanted to be rich. When he went to Malawi, he did a money ritual. He was then given some herbs that will help him to develop and grow his businesses but he was supposed to do a blood sacrifice for the ritual to work. He was supposed to sacrifice someone, but that person was someone who was not related to us so that no one in the family would suspect that our grandfather had done a money-making ritual. We were told that after our uncle had returned from Malawi and after he had done that ritual, he then bought a grinding mill and he had a lot of these grinding mills around the village. That is when they did that ritual and in that ritual there is a man who was working for our uncle. He used to head our uncle's cattle. They ended up burning him with plastics until he died and they buried him behind that grinding mill. That is where some of these charms and the remains. That prophet told us that the spirit of this deceased is really angry and furious because it died a painful death. That man, when he died, he was being burned by plastics and he wants to be compensated. If we do not compensate him, his spirit will finish us off one by one. Brother Nashi, as for now, we do not have any money at all. Because that prophet who was helping us, he told us that he cannot help us any further because he said that this one is a vengeful spirit and if he tries to fight with this vengeful spirit, the spirit will end up taking his life. So he wants us to pay him first just in case if he dies while he's trying to chase away this demonic spirit from our family. Dear brother, please post for me. We do not have anything right now. If there is any prophet that wants to come and assist us, we don't have money as for now, but we are looking for help. We do not want to die. Currently, we are staying in Zimbabwe. Please help us. We did nothing. Me and my siblings, we committed no crime. We did nothing. But now, is it fair for us that we should die because of the sins that were committed by our forefathers? Please help us. Dear listeners, right there was a message that I received from Anonymous. Then I had to ask one of our admins to give us a translation. And Anonymous was saying that the prophet told them that this man... He needs to be reburied and when they will be burying him again, they have to bury him with the charms that their grandfather went to collect in Malawi. Quite a sad story, quite a sad story. When I spoke with this man via WhatsApp call, this man was actually crying. Please let us talk about this issue in the comment section. I'll be back with another episode.